Hey guys, it's Brody from Mountain Archery. Uh, exciting, exciting day. 2024 uh, Bowtech Carbon 1X. So they did exactly what everyone was asking for. Last year, Carbon 1, 30 inch only. This is a 33 inch carbon bow from Bowtech, all new. So relatively the same riser. They uh, did a little bit different aluminum limb pockets to get up to a 33 inch draw. So, or not draw, axle to axle. Let's just confirm that. And it is exactly at 33. So Bowtech spot on there. Advertised at 4.5 pounds. So let's also just verify that. And this does have a QAD rest on it. You could add about three ounces for that. So right now with QAD rest, nothing else on it. It's five pounds exactly. So 5.0. But what is cool about this long carbon bow from Bowtech? Uh, sweet offering uh, for long draw archers. You got a range of 25 and a half up to 30 and a half inch draw lengths. Uh, this bow can go up to 70 pound limbs. You can also get it in 50 and 60, and its IBO speed rating is 339 feet per second. And we will also do a real world speed test and see where that stacks up. But new as compared to the Carbon One from last year, the Carbon One X, uh, it has time lock capability, just like the Reckoning target bows from last year. So adjust your timing without adding any twists in the cables. Don't need a bow press of any kind, just an Allen wrench to be able to adjust your timing, which is awesome. It does not include the grip lock technology like the carb or the aluminum bows do, the core series and the new Evashaki Gen 3. But if you guys haven't shot the carbon one from last year or a carbon bow at all, you need to try a carbon bow because they have a totally different feel from aluminum, a uh, whole different dead in the hand feel, whole different there crazy quiet. Um, definitely try this one from Bowtech. It's got the deadlock cams, easily the most tunable cam system in the industry without a bow press, just an Allen wrench. So definitely come try the Carbon One X here at Mountain Archery. All right, 2024 Carbon One X real world speed test. So come for setting, we will flip disc the over, flip the flip disc over into the performance setting after this, but we got two different arrows we're gonna try. And it is at 29 inch draw right now. And let's check exactly what the draw weight is at. It's at 72.6. So 72.6 pounds. Um, this is a 70 pound max bow, it's maxed out coming in a little heavier, but it's pretty normal. So 29 inch draw, 72 and a half pounds, 405 grain arrow is what we're gonna try first. This is the comfort setting. Pretty dang smooth draw, really. Two hundred and ninety seven feet per second. Two hundred and ninety seven. Now we have a heavier arrow. This arrow is 500 grains, 501 to be exact. Same exact specs. Let's see what we are getting with a, about a hundred grain more heavy arrow. Two hundred and sixty-eight feet per second. So again, this is on the comfort setting. We're gonna flip that over to the performance setting and see what kind of speed gains we get. All right, so we flipped the mod over to the performance setting. So if you didn't know already, all Bowtech bows have what they call a flip disc technology where the mod that changes your draw length, you can flip it over to the other side and it gives you a completely different draw cycle depending on if you want a more comfortable or a more performance-based draw setting. So we got it on performance now. We tested it at the Comfort. Uh, this is the 405 grain arrow, still at 29 inch draw, 72 and a half pounds. Um, we're gonna see what kind of speed we get with this. Three. 
308 feet per second. Pretty significant jump in speed, which is awesome that you can do that without any change in poundage, just changing your mods. So let's try it with the 500 grain arrow, 501 grain arrow. Um, one thing I did fail to mention, this bow has a 6.125 inch brace height for those of you that were wondering. 501 grain arrow. Two seventy eight. Also, a good significant jump in speed. Um, Bowtech definitely has some of the coolest technologies in the industry as far as tunability and just customizing the bow for what you want. So, Carbon One X for twenty twenty four. Those of you that were wanting a carbon bow from Bowtech, longer axis axle, thirty three inch, with all the new technologies, come see them at Mountain Archery. Thanks, guys.